Rocket Balloon Barch? Super Valkyries and Witches? This pro used the strangest armies in the $500 challenge. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth, Rakirez of Tribe Gaming, one of the top players in the world, takes on the Judo Sloth challenge. Rules are pretty simple, he attacks three of my bases, and for every base he three stars, he wins $100 with a $500 grand prize for three starring all bases. However, every troop he uses will be banned from future attacks. Welcome to Team Judo! The first attack attack is the last base I send him, which is this base. Let's leave my triple ice golem CC. He is in. What does he have for us? Barbarians, archers, 16 wall breakers, and 12 rocket balloons. This is why I love Rakirez, bringing things that we don't typically see. Now the rocket balloons are obviously banned after this attack, as with the Barbarians and Archers, I'm sure he's not too gutted about that one, but he can use the regular balloons. He's using regular wall breakers, so he can use super wall breakers in a future attack. Freeze spell does help the Archer Queen out, and the three rocket balloons should be enough to take down that single as well. Yes, it is. Raging that queen, so she moves up towards the eagle and just powering everything else alongside the log launcher to the bottom of the base. Now a fun fact, myself and Rakirez used to be in the same clan many moons ago in crunch time, so it's so awesome to see him doing so well in the Clash of Clans esports scene. You see the royal champion moving in towards the center just to peel in there and take down that scatter shot and the central areas. My ice golems trying to slow him down. They have been successful in pre previous judo sloth challenges. The barbarians and archers, presumably for the outside of the base. Now I do want to point out this jump spell. Notice he did not open up the multi-target compartment. That means the queen can jump into this little walkway. As you see, she can take the multi and walk down to help the royal champion. Oh, it would have been so good if she was just that little bit earlier to help with the royal champion. Meanwhile, we have the ice golem and a pecker onto the town hall. The ice golem froze the town hall, meaning the pecker was able to take it down. He's got an invisibility left over. Over. The Barbarians and Archers, the Barch, pretty much for cleanup, but I think we can class this as a Barch. He still had nigh on a quarter of his army, and look at that rocket balloon. How do you turn the rocket balloon invisible and not the wizard tower? Oh my word, that was incredible. And there we have a glorious attack from Rakirez. The first $100 secured. How much will he get in total? Look at that troop screen. He is in and he has Super Valkyries and Witches with Yetis and Hog Riders. I do obviously make sure to double check the troops so that we are not getting duplicates. And you can see here we have the regular balloons rather than the rocket balloons. Starting with a couple of those balloons to snipe off some of the defense a Grand Warden Walk. I have never seen this combination. Super Valkyries and Witches. Let's find out what he's got for us. Grand Warden just taking its time. Now he does have a clone spell as well and the Battle Blimp. Now the troops inside the Battle Blimp count to the banned list, but the Siege Machine itself does not. There is those three Super Valkyries to rage up the rest of his troops. Witches and the Yeti to the outside and the jump spell to try and merge everything in towards the Eagle and the multi-target inferno. More yetis and witches to that outside. All of the super valkyries down already though. Not really getting the rage value he might have wanted there. Probably see this grand warden ability to help the battle, but there it is with the seeking air mine. So a perfect warden ability. Ice golems in my clan castle, but what does he have in that blimp? Oh, he's cloning the super minions, but they're caught in the tornado trap. So he's now having to turn them invisible yet again. Will they go to that town hall? Turns them invisible. We're missing part of the bottom of the attack. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. How is Rakirez keeping 
on track here. The town hall didn't go down. RC in from the top. Did he want the town hall down? Surely he did. Freezing it now with the Royal Champion. Still got another freeze. Two balloons and two hog riders. Hogs coming in from the bottom of the base. Royal Champion with that invisibility. Can he get it though? Oh, it doesn't look like it. Oh my goodness. It's not going to be enough for him. 80%. So he can no longer get the grand prize, but he can still get another $100 from the next attack. Here we go. A mixture of wizards, the Golem Avalanche with seven super wall breakers. He's got the lightning, which he is going to use for the Inferno Tower and Expo region. Take that damage away from the town hall. Also create pathing. Rand Warden slowly doing his thing, sending in one giant just to try and make sure the Grand Warden doesn't take too much damage and have to use the ability. Hence why he's got the unicorn with the Grand Warden. Very nicely done and now placing the queen so the warden is pulled across a slow and steady start here with the regular golem still got three golems and here we go setting up the pathing with the king on the right hand side another wall break i love seeing all of these wall breakers boom King can walk into this little compartment and he's also made it so that the golem can access that area too. Now, it looks like he wants the queen. Oh, sending in the wall wrecker to this top area. I was going to say, I thought he wanted the queen to peel off to the town hall. But the wall wrecker is for that. How is he controlling the wall breakers like this? All of the way to the middle. The queen can then get that scatter shot. Now, inside the wall wrecker, we have goblins by the look of it, but they are inside that tornado trap. Activating the town hall, sneaky goblins should be able to take that down momentarily. There it goes, royal champion down the bottom side of the base with the king, but the queen stuck in the middle, not quite getting that scatter shot as of yet. Will she move into it? Royal champion to the rescue and then into the region of the enemy royal champion. So she will go down. Oh no, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out now. He's got the queen and the unicorn with the super wizard blasting into this area. And the archer queen. Oh, I don't think it's going to be enough. Archer queen for the royal champion. Down she goes. He just doesn't have enough to finish off the base. The golem stuck on the wall. It just did not go to plan for Akira's here. Seems like he wanted a little bit more from the golems, but $100 for Akira's. Thank you for taking part. If you do want to see the previous episode of the Judo Slot Challenge where Cynthia of MSE Sports took part, it is linked on your screen with the subscribe button. You guys take care, and I will see you in the next video.